Shalom brothers and sisters and I've said this before I'm going to say it again before I even read this article to you one of the wars that will be fought one of the many wars that will be fought going ahead will be water wars mankind is going to fight mankind for drinkable water especially as it gets hotter and hotter as we head into this time ahead Iran cuts flow of the little Zab River into Iraq and that's how tensions start and wars start drifting together. Iran cut the flow of the Little Zab, causing decreases in the water levels of both the Tigris and Euphrates River, which are already having their own crises, and exacerbating Iraq's ongoing water shortages. Reports indicate that the water level at the Dukan Dam, the largest dam in Iraq's Kurdish regional government, receded by 7 centimeters daily due to Iran's water cessation, Omar added. On the matter of the immediate effects of the river's cutoff, Omar said that the region is grappling with a formidable crisis, particularly with respect to drinking water. The cessation of water flow by Iran has immediate repercussions on Iraq's Qalads and Rania towns with ripple effects to adjacent regions. Iraq has been suffering increased rates of desertification over the years. In June, Haidar Fali, director of environmental division for the province of Najaf, said that Iraq's rate of desertification has reached 70%. Now we've covered how Iran's got the same crisis with desertification at the moment. The Iraqi government blames the situation on the lack of cooperation on water policy with neighboring Turkey. So we have Turkey, Iraq and Iran all having a water issue with each other. Turkey's various dam and hydropower construction projects have reduced Iraq's water supply along two rivers by 80% since 1975. The north of Iran suffers from a problem similar to the cutoff of the Little Zab as Russia has closed the entrance to the Volga River to the Caspian Sea through building its own dam. The level of the Caspian Sea has dropped by 180 centimeters in the last decade, and Iranian officials have openly blamed Russia for the drop. Russia, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, tension, and the cause? Water. It's only going to get worse. So... Let's all get around a table and talk. Let's go find water somewhere else or let's go take a spoil somewhere else and then we'll work out our water issues. While their countries become majorly, mostly deserts. Really interesting how this whole thing is playing out going into this final stretch. God bless. Pray for all the innocent civilians that are suffering from lack of water, which is something a lot of people take for granted. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.